Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets, again joined by Jakob the We're gonna try to make a few reviews today, but make it quick because we're doing the Ulkonsold. You will focus. Ulkonsold is a beer store where both of us work, and as you can see, we're drinking a insane beer. <laughs> and uh, the guys are making fun of us. Uh, this hasn't been made since. Uh, okay, well, let's start off. The beer for this review is the one you see here, Odenbach. Alexander. That's insane. That's, we're actually sitting with a bottle of Rodenbach Alexander. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Insanely old. Yeah, vintage. I mean, it's, it's pretty old, but uh, they don't do this anymore. They haven't done it since they were bought by the Palm Breweries. So, this is rare stuff. So, thanks a lot to Smith, the owner of the consortium, for bringing this beer for the ball here. And here it is. We got a small sample because we're uh, eight people eight, sharing it. Nine people. Nine, okay. Um, and it does it barely has any carbonation. It's it kind of looks like a cognac in, in the glass here. Yeah. It's like a really dark mahogany. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't tasted this right now. No, it's we've only smelled it, so it's a tease. <laughs> and the others are tasting it right now and going crazy. So I just think we should dig in with the aroma. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. It is. It, it it smells like raisins and figs, insane amounts of it, and and it smells like a really aged balsamic vinegar. Yeah, but it has some chocolate. Yeah, notes. chocolate notes and definite cork-like notes, and a little bit of an almost vanilla component from the barrels, because it's been barrel aged. It's a sour ale. It's from Rodenbach, uh, like a Flemish sour. It has that dusty old feel, but a lot of sweetness and. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think we've been holding this. Yeah, we've been holding this up for enough time. Let's just give this a try. Cheers. This would be worthy for one thousand, actually. Oh, holy my! Wow! And that is holding up insanely well, considering the age. Wow! Uh, no, I can't take that many sips because I only have a small one. Um, mouthfeel is like a medium, it's, dry, uh, it's creamy, yet a little bit dry. No carbonation, flat, that flat, but it, it works well. It drinks like a tart port wine. Yeah. Um, lots of port notes, a lot of oaky notes, cork, but it has tons of raisins and, and uh, like things. Yeah, and but I have a like a chocolate, dates. a kind of chocolate um, feel to it, milk chocolate almost. I don't get too much chocolate in the flavor. I'm more getting the sweetness and the vanilla and the oak and stuff mm. like that. Um, it is really nice, and I really dig the the barrel character, the like the old cork. Yeah, it doesn't have a funk per se though. No, really, it's it, it, it's mellowed a lot. Yeah, I haven't had this before, but no, and you never will. Well, we're actually going to try another vintage after this, which is insane. So, but it's phenomenal. I I think it was was better fresher though. Uh, it tastes rare. Yeah, maybe yeah. have a little more. Uh, it would have more carbonation yeah. and more sourness, but I don't know. Tartness. It's great, but it's not a hundred beer for me. Even I, I think even actually I maybe I liked the cocktail rouge a little bit better because yeah. it was fresh and it had the fruits. But it's I, and in retrospect, I probably gave the cocktail rouge a little bit of too high grade. But this is phenomenal stuff. I'm gonna go 95 on this. This is one if you can trade for it, get, get it. It's fantastic, it's and it's just way. Yeah, we're we're glad with it. We've got, yeah, white whale, white whale. Ninety five. This is this stuff is amazing. Well, I can't argue with or against you, or I can't argue against you. So I'm gonna go ninety five as well. I can't. Ah, no, I'm gonna go ninety six. This is a great beer. Yeah. Almost like Ribena. Yeah. Right. Uh, actually, like blackberries, blackberries. Great stars and expensive drops. Yeah. So guys, if you ever have the chance or you can get the Odenbach Alexander, try definitely it try it. The yeah. uh, it has like it has like etched or painted labels on the bottle. But if you get the chance to try it, definitely go for it. Uh, and I'd love to hear some feedback how this, uh, what do you guys think of it, and how if any of you had it when it was like fresh, what you thought. But as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna go back to trying some more beers.